Greetings class, this is Mr. Herman. This video is all about how to complete a style of poem based on a poet named Richard Browdigan's style. Um, it's fun, it's short, and let's waste no time getting started. All right, so first and foremost, um, Richard Browdigan was a poet from the 50s or 60s who kind of had that informal style, kind of similar to Jack Kerouac, but not quite as out there, let's say. He had a wry sense of humor, as you can see by the smirk on his picture right here. And if you're interested in um, figuring out more about him, I'll put a link on my website that has some more of his poetry. But first, he makes a allusion, a reference to a famous person in his first poem that we're going to read, uh, called The Memoirs of Jesse James. So we have to figure out who Jesse James is. Um, before we get started. So Google Docs is a great feature where you can do something called research and on the side it'll pop up and tell you who Jesse James is. Now there's a more famous Jesse James who was married to Sandra Bullock. That's not who we're talking about here. We're talking about this guy. So let's check it out on Wikipedia real quick. He was an American outlaw, gang leader, bank robber, train robber, and murderer. As you can tell by his picture here. Looks like a tough guy. So we know he's like a Wild West uh, bank robber. That's important into understanding this poem. Thanks, Wikipedia. So, the memoirs of Jesse James. Let's read it and then we'll figure out the style with the style chart at the bottom. The memoirs of Jesse James by Richard Browdigan. I remember all those thousands of hours that I spent in grade school watching the clock, waiting for recess or lunch or to go home waiting for anything but school. My teachers could easily have ridden with Jesse James for all the time they stole from me. Alright, so there's a definite tone to this poem. Uh, and what I'd like you guys to do is kind of figure out each piece of the poem down here. The subject is, of course, about school. But you guys should be able to figure out the figurative language. The format is like the line length, the amount of lines, if there are full sentences. It's like the syntax. Does it rhyme? And again, you can use your tone list to figure out what the tone is. That's in the tone unit section. Let's take a look at one more example. This one's called, I feel horrible, she doesn't. And that's the first line of the poem. I feel horrible, she doesn't. Love me and I wander around the house like sewing machine that's just finished sewing a turd to a garbage can lid. Now, it's a great poem because that final image and that image is part of the figurative language. So once again, you'll fill out this tone, I'm sorry, the subject, tone, figurative language, format, rhyme to figure out the style. So you're going to use both these charts to create your own version of a Browdigan poem. For instance, your poem could be about school. It could be about a relationship like this one. The tone should be a similar one to the one that he adopts. And I want you to try to use a piece of figurative language like he does and keep it a similar format as Richard Browdigan's. This is called imitation and there's nothing wrong with it. It's more like modeling. So you can write your own poem in the style of Richard Browdigan and um, see what a professional does and mimic it. 